But at the start of the season, we saw your brother leave. Can you just say a few words for us about how that affected you, if it did at all? Um, it was disappointing for him to leave in, the, obviously, a family sense and the fact that, you know, I've enjoyed... I've uh, been lucky as well to uh, have the opportunity to play football with my brother for the last 10, 15 years, but uh, we always knew it would come to an end. And through the summer, I think, Philip, it wasn't a, you know, a rash decision. I think Philip, over a period of time, had been thinking that he wanted to be uh, guaranteed for his team football or certainly get more games. And um, you know, obviously, I didn't want it to end in that sense, but you know, he, he, he was brave and made the decision. And, uh, he was taken by what David Moyes said to him at Everton and you know, the rest was history. August was a great month, unbeaten and hadn't conceded, but then by the end of September with 10 points behind Chelsea. Yeah, we started the season pretty well and then, not an excuse, but we got some uh, injuries. Um, I was injured, Roy Keane was injured, I think Ryan Giggs had an injury um, and there were a few more around that time. Gabriel Hines got injured and we lost, I think, our way for three months, September, October, November and parts of December as well, I would say, we lost we lost our way. Uh, we weren't uh, at our best. We were certainly lacking in confidence and, you know, there were a lot of questions. We went out of Europe around that time as well and it was difficult for us because we didn't have the experienced players, you know, back and fully fit. I think Ryan broke his cheekbone as well. And it was difficult. I think, that, you know, some of the younger players in the team probably weren't, we were wondering what had hit them. Um, and at that time it was a low point for us and the questions were being asked and rightly so because the performances weren't good enough. You really put the fighters on Chelsea one, didn't you? Did you actually believe you could catch them? I think we always felt we were three or four points behind. I think um, we were enjoying the chase. I mean, after the Bolton game away they drew at Birmingham and we, we won at Bolton and you know it was talked about that, you know, seven points behind, five games to go, but just not enough games or certainly not close enough to them to put real pressure on them. I would have loved to have had, you know, 10 games to go. I think we'd have seen a real race then. Um, but all their consistency this season has been fantastic and you've got to give them credit for that. Our consistency came too late. Um, but still, we talked about wanting to close the gap on them and get nearer to them and we, we certainly have done that. We were 18 points behind in, in I think, February and you know, we got nearer than that, that's for sure. Well, you've stepped into the captain's boots, so to speak. What was that like when you found out? Well, it was a great honour. I mean, at the time when Roy left, um, it obviously left a vacancy for the for the captaincy, and you know, I was delighted to be given the job, and something that I hope I can um, do with great pride and honour, and also success, more importantly. And um, so far, it's been okay. We've um, we've lost a couple of games, but you know, I've enjoyed it. Um, the team. He's playing fantastically well and has done since Christmas and I think that's something that everybody's enjoyed and you know, I just hope that we can continue to play like that this season, next season, because if we do then we've got a great chance of winning trophies. Well, it wasn't long before you managed to pick up your first trophy as captain the Carling Cup. What was that like, picking that up? It was a great moment and I think, you know, the Carling Cup had always been a, or the League Cup had always been a trophy that had eluded the club and myself over the last, you know, ten years and I think it was... Uh, I think it was a big day for us, not because, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was the, it was the, it's the lesser of the trophies and will be every season for us, but it was a big moment for us as a team. We had to start somewhere, you know, lads in the team hadn't won trophies before. It was a big occasion, a cup final, um, a great day out, and we won, played a, great, played a great game and, you know, difficult opponents, Wigan. Um, we had a great season themselves and I think it just, we said at that point, we just hoped it would catapult us to a a different level of confidence and authority and I think since then we've looked a different team altogether and uh, we look a far better team. Well just a quick word on Louis because that was his competition really, he scored yeah. every every round. Louis Fasaha was one of the most difficult players I've ever played against. Um, I said that when he signed for the club and I'm not just saying that because he signed but he really was a handful to, to United um, over four or five matches to all the centre-halves who played against him and we hadn't really seen that up until this season because of injury and obviously the fact of the matter is he's got Ruud van Nistelrooy and, and Wayne Rooney as well, Alan Smith. So it's been difficult for him to get a run but we finally I think saw in end of February, March and early parts of April what Louis Sahar is about and that he's a nightmare to play against and it was his competition, he did fantastically well in it and I think it just goes to show that you know United fans over the previous season and a half hadn't seen anywhere near the best of him. Well, on the subject of goal scoring, we found a new goal scorer in Rio. It was about time. It was about time, Rio. Um, 
I mean, he's just a decoy runner at corners, really. He just, <laughs> he's not going up there for anything else other than to make a nuisance of himself. But he, you know, he start. He should be scoring more goals because he's, you know, he's got great pace in the box. He's got good height, and the goal against Liverpool was a fantastic goal and certainly a big goal for us. Well, how about the FA Cup? Were you disappointed with the run? Disappointed going out to Liverpool. I mean, that's always a disappointment going out to anybody. But we had, we got a hard draw. You know, Liverpool away. You know, whilst I'm a big United fan. If you play Liverpool away, Chelsea away, Arsenal away, in any game, in any season throughout the last hundred years, that is a game that you can win, but you can also lose. You know, it's not a game that you can go into saying we're going to win today. You know that you're going to have to play very well. And so on the day, they were they were they were just a, you know, a little bit better than us, and we didn't play. To be honest with you, um, it's probably our last poor performance this season, and um, certainly one that you know didn't please us. But we recovered from it, and we, we you know. It, it was always a game that was going to be difficult. Well, how would you sum up the season as a whole? Season as a whole? Well, let's talk about the second half, I think. The first half was poor. Um, slight unfor you know, slightly unfortunate with injuries, certainly. But we didn't play well either. And um, you know, at that time, there was definitely you know, a lot of criticism coming our way. It wasn't enjoyable for anybody at the club, I don't think, and certainly any player. Or manager or fan. Second half of the season, I, I think that there's, you know, sort of, you know, the dark clouds have disappeared, if you like, and people are starting to think, well, you know, these young players that people have talked about, the Rooney's, Ronaldo's, and you've seen Louis coming in and do brilliantly, Ji Sung Park, and Giggsy and John O'Shea in midfield, and Rude's coming and scored goals. You see a different sort of feeling about the club, and, you know, people are starting to say, well, they're only, you know, one or two players maybe away from being a great team, and you know, at the moment we're showing great consistency, we're showing a level of performance that I think, you know, we're playing two wide players, two up front, two in midfield, and we're looking like we're going to attack all the time, score goals, and I think the fans have got um, enjoyed the last, you know, three, four months of the season, even though we maybe haven't been uh, involved in the championship race, they've been, I think they've enjoyed seeing us play in the way that we've played and the style that we've shown. It has been exciting, I have to say, as a fan myself. It, there, there was always that little extra that you could maybe catch Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what for next season? Same goals as ever next season, but it gets more desperate by the season, doesn't it? You know, winning that championship. I think to talk about the European Cup is um, would be wrong. I think the championship is what we have to aim for. You know, you've no right to talk about the European Cup. Don't get me wrong. We'll be going all out for it, and you know, hopefully we can go on a run like Liverpool and Arsenal have done in the last two seasons, and you know, get to the final. That would be fantastic. But the, the championship is what we have to be about next season. We have to start the season in the same manner we've ended this season, consistently winning matches, even when you're not playing quite as well, win matches. And certainly that'll be something that we're looking forward to next season because we, we, we're, we're going into next season certainly with more confidence, or should be, than we, than we started this season. Well, just finally, your goal of the season and why? The goal of the season, I'll say Real Ferdinand against uh, Liverpool. Just for the fact of the fact, you know, Liverpool last minute and it was real scoring. I mean, if it had been a tap in, I'd have said, you know, him as well. But um, just a great moment, I think, for us.